All right, Jackson Laundry. So I think you found the key to, to winning races. You need to put them on. <laughs> yeah, um, there was quite the process putting this race on. And honestly, I, I love the Olympic distance and I've always, you know, thought that it was a good distance for me. And, and these, uh, these pro Olympic distance races keep disappearing um, in our sport. So when we put this race on, it was just a no question to make it an Olympic distance so that the ITU and the long course athletes could kind of meet in the middle at, at the non-drafting Olympic distance. and. We used what we had available. Barry gave us uh, access to the C3 quarry and the C3 um, subdivision here that, that we can use to, to race with no cars and no cost to us. So that's really a benefit and it kind of ended up being a crit course. So I think it was a pretty fair race all around for uh, ITU and long course athletes. And uh, I was just hoping that planning this whole race wouldn't take too much energy. And it looks like I was able to strike the right balance having probably one of my better races ever, I would say. Yeah, and I, I was about to ask you that. Um, you know, I saw you win 70.3 Montreal Blanc last year. That looked amazing. Today was, uh, I, it seemed to me, almost a step up from that day. Yeah, I mean, I, I was really happy with the day overall. The swim was about what I expected, and I knew that I just needed to keep myself in contention kind of towards the back of that main clump of times there. I was in ninth out of 10, but I was pretty close even Brent McMahon in second was less than a minute ahead, so I just went to work early and and yeah, I think you know on the bike I, I don't know what my power numbers were, but I went way faster than I thought I would, um, and that was really what set me up for the day to be able to kind of get to the lead and and hold it and kind of build a lead but not overdo it because I knew I'd need to have one of the faster runs as well with Brent McMahon right there behind me, so. Um, and it, my run legs held together really well. I actually felt like I might cramp getting off the bike in my hamstrings, which I've never felt before, so I was a little concerned, but once I got the stride opened up on the first downhill, I was able to stretch it out and, and felt good. So um, I couldn't have asked for a better race, honestly. It went perfectly for me. And considering we were sort of wondering how long it was gonna be before you could actually come back to the sport, this is pretty amazing, a little over a year after uh, a horrendous accident. Yeah, it was literally a year ago, um, I guess on on Thursday, today's Saturday or something like that. It was September 9th last year. So yeah, I, um, you know, I was able to come back in March and race pretty well in Campeche and it still wasn't quite where I knew I could be. And, and today was a really, you know, a proof for me that I am where I, where I, uh, you know, I believed I was, I was able to, to win. And I mean, it's a world-class field, you, you don't, you know, just beat Brett McMahon because, you know, you had an okay day. You got to have a perfect day to beat that guy and, t and Taylor Reed and Cody Beals and Jeremy Brienne and go down the list. They're all really strong athletes. So I'm just honored to be able to win this race against such a strong field. And, and you know, I'm just happy that a lot of the competitors had a great day too and really made me work for it. And uh, finally, uh, you know, how, how, what did it mean for you for the PTO to kick in uh, what they did for this event? Um, that was what that the event started. I mean, without that, there probably would be no race here or there would be and it would be really small with a few local pros. So when they committed a $20,000 prize purse, that just gave us the momentum we needed to be able to run with it and approach sponsors, bring the athletes out, fly out athletes like Brent McMahon and Rach McBride to the race. Um, and it just gives the race legitimacy. I mean, this is as big a prize purse as we see in a lot of Ironman uh, races and challenge races. So. Uh, pretty amazing to to have their support and it just shows that you know the PTO is here for the pros and they're here to stay So thanks so much to them and all the rest of our sponsors Lululemon and, and the rest of them uh, For supporting this race Congratulations on a great day both in terms of putting it up together and racing. Thanks so much. Appreciate it